know, sonar units come with a variety of different transducers these days for different purposes. For example, on this boat, I've got a standard broad beam transducer, about a 20 degree transducer cone, and that's what most people use. But in an open water situation like this, where you're trolling with things like downriggers, a wider transducer beam would actually be an advantage. If you go to a 50 kilohertz transducer, the beam is wider, and why is that important? Well, it allows you to see things like your downrigger on your screen, so you can actually see exactly what depth your downriggers are at by monitoring them on your sonar screen. If you've got a 20 degree transducer like I have on this boat, you'll notice you can't see them here. It's because the cable sway slides it back far enough that it's outside of the cone angle of what you can see. So if you're a big water fisherman, you're probably gonna want a 50 kilohertz transducer. If you're an inland lake fisherman, a river fisherman, you're probably gonna be better suited with a 20 degree transducer or what they call the standard broad beam skimmer.